Okay. Uh, <laughs> now don't worry, I got behind. Yeah, now you're on oh, we're good, we're good. If I jump out, it's fine. Right yeah, right. now we on Bahizen, you know. I paid the I paid the fucking three dollars extra a month to got the Bahizen. <laughs> she 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 she's there with the natural PCS. PCS. My okay, Ethernet man. is fine. What's Ethernet? For, for YouTube, so what is it? We can be on YouTube right now. But this is cool. Now, but now if, I, if you lose me, it's no big whoop, right? Well, it depends. You're gonna. There's a couple of desperate. Uh, uh men and, and uh a, a few you know illegals and older gentlemen and stuff oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding anyway That's i'm good. sorry sergio the thing you were talking about was having an iconic moment oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and an iconic move and you said you always wanted one is but is the spinning back fist something that you practiced all the time yeah, honestly, it's a move that I do practice every time I throw a head kick or any type of. Stop kick. lying! No, I'm hey. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nah, I thought, yeah, yeah, putting me out there. No, nah, no, nah, but yeah, that's uh, something I practice all the time. If you watch my pad work and stuff, always throwing spinning back fist. Um, I attempted it like two or three times before I actually landed it too. So I, w I was going for it. You know, I noticed. Uh, yeah, wait. Say it. Say it again. You said you went for it a couple times before I landed. Yeah, yep. I noticed like two that. Or three times. <laughs> and they even yeah. talked about it. The, the commentator said something about it. Like, oh, he's tried for that. You know, he missed with that. And then you were like, you know, I think you, you know, you were trying to get the hands with that one, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he was just getting so comfortable exiting with his hands down. So, yeah, I, I had to take advantage of it. Crazy when I just, landed it, man. It was a crazy moment. Oh, when you see it in slow motion, you see he's just completely unprepared for that one. Yeah. He's just oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy because how in control and how how slick and how smooth and how and then to see the guy just after all that just to be like oh, you know yeah. what I mean it's just wow yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't believe I landed it I ran up on him and I, I thought he was playing and I'm like about to hit him again I'm like oh he's he's really out right now so that was classy yeah. too it, yeah I love when people don't throw the last little one on the ground you know it's like. You know what I'm saying? It's like classy yeah. when you don't hit, give him, unless you got hatred for the guy, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the fight was over, man. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, I think we're losing her again. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How are you? I, I, was, I was laying on the couch when it happened, and I jumped the fuck up, and I was just staring at the TV like, you know when you see some crazy <laughs> NBA shot at the last second yeah, or something? Yeah. You go, that didn't just happen. Man. Is she is she gone for her? Yeah, she's gone. Okay, so we're gonna have to to behave, I guess. And then whenever she's gone, <laughs> if she's gone now, the top of your head is cut off because oh, you it? you now became bigger. Oh, okay, you understand? Let me adjust. There you go, my brother. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's. Uh, so okay. So now we we talked about uh, we talked about the present. You know. But let's you get in, into the past, okay, a little bit because I, I'm curious. I know a lot of listen. The first play, <laughs> you might have to switch the fucking camera again. Um, I just accept the request. Let's see if she if if the PCS. <laughs> She's back in. We're playing musical PCS. We're playing musical Metro PCS. Yeah, I can hear you. Um. So. Anyway, we now we're going back. <laughs> now we're going back to this is this is. Uh, don't worry, you know this can he remind you of your humble beginnings, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine if you had, uh, if this cell phone technology exists when you was a kid like this. This is the kind you would have had. <laughs> you know, like the equivalent of the TV where you. It's gotta so have ghetto. <laughs> well, you gotta fuck. So we're gonna take you back. We're gonna yeah. pretend. See, Keeping this was real, all planned. Sergio. This was okay. all planned. We wanted to make you comfortable so we can take you back in Chinese. Okay. Mm, yeah. So I want to find out. I when when I came, uh, the first place I moved from from uh, Brazil was to came to to um, New York. Okay, which having more Puerto Ricans than Puerto Rico does. You know, <laughs> for real. So and the building that I moved to <laughs> was all Puerto Rican and Dominican Puerto. Were so you in Queens I'm, or where? I, I was in Manhattan. Manhattan. Okay. Money making Manhattan. Um, and then so 
Um, now, I'm used to those kind of Puerto Ricans. Now, I didn't even know that uh, Milwaukee had Puerto Ricans there. Yeah, man. There's and then I see of... you and your brother, and I say, Carayo, they got the same stuff. So do they have the same, like, do you, you, ever, you ever met New, New, New York Ricans before? Yeah, yeah, I, I, Milwaukee's still a, a Puerto Ricans. Yeah, all of us. We got a whole so is it the same kind as the New York? I uh, honestly, it's a, it's a little different. You guys have a, you know, the accents different. You know, like you guys. Also, oh, that... what they sound like in, in in okay, so they speak Spanglish, yeah. Spanglish, yeah, yeah. So what they, they sound, like... sound, what they sound like when they go to um when they when they um when they in when they speak in Spanglish like in Milwaukee, what they sound like. I mean, I don't, I'm not good at it. I can't. I couldn't do it. You can't I, even do that one. Nah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm super American though. I'm Puerto Wait, so you don't even Spanish, speak but... Spanish? <laughs> no Spanish, man. No, my mom don't speak Spanish, but her mom does, and my great grandma does. But they, they never taught the generations after them. So you didn't grow up in a Puerto Rican neighborhood? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, was, I mean, my neighborhood was hood where we grew up at, but not necessarily Puerto Rican. Nah, not Puerto Rican. All what was more in there? I mean, it was a mixture. It was like uh, black people, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, couple uh, couple white people. So I mean, a couple yeah, white yeah, people. Yeah, a couple white people. But like ghetto white people. <laughs> yeah, man. Like you know, the like, kind that sound like it do hoofers. <laughs> nah, nah, not like that. Like hood. Oh, oh, okay. Hood. But not like yeah. I all I had was a bag of jasmine rice. <laughs> Um, yeah, not like that. Nothing like that. So, so where where I was in the building, we had a lot of guys who speak. They they thought I was Puerto Rican, so they speak either straight Spanish to me or I speak Spanglish, you know. And yeah. then my father was teach karate and stuff like that. So everybody, you know, everybody knew him in the neighborhood, you know. So you have all these OGs used to came to me, these Puerto Rican guys who used to hustle, but now maybe they a junkie, maybe they. You know, they're selling stolen stuff and they're doing some some junk, but they used to study, you know, uh, um, they used to study martial arts and stuff like that. That's and crazy. they would come to me and be like, Mira, Mira, Papa, <laughs> you, your father, I used to train with your father, you know, to sabe. Okay, yeah, yeah, but before when I had got locked up and, and then I had lost my teeth. But before, <laughs> your father told me a lot, you know, he taught me the art for him. You know, uh -huh. and, 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 and um, you know, they come up to me and, and they tell you all that stuff, you know, and they tell you their life story, you know, like they say, you know, and I'm just trying to get a couple of dollars because, you know, I, I have went to get my ID <laughs> and I have went to get my SSI and then um, I went to the methadone uh, place, and down, then, you know, but I had no blood on my teeth and they couldn't understand what I was talking about, you know, to tell them. <laughs> uh, but you find him, man. Just, just oh, give him cool. a hug for me because, you know, that's my brother, you know, to me, your mom, you know, to do the, to stop it. And so I, I know a lot of those guys oh, like that who, who is um, all the type, you know, and then you have the young guys who's come up and, and, and they, you know, they try to act black and stuff like that. But then they also speak in <laughs> Spanglish, you know. And yeah, they yeah, told that me that like, me I told that nigga, Toma, boom, like that. And, it's, and this nigga came out and said, Ko he ahi, papa, you know. You know oh, and, and, um, but, you know, it's funny because I don't know if it's like this in, in, in Milwaukee, but in New York, you have it like um, a situation where in, in New York, the Puerto Rican there, they will chop. You could have the darkest Puerto Rican or Dominican um, they look like a Wesley Snipe, but then they talking shit about black people for her, and they go like, they go like, nah, nah, mira, papa, the cocolo, they stab you in the back, papa. That's it, they stab you, and, and, and they try no, but and then these guys is blacker than me, you know what I'm saying? Dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. talking shit like talking that. They shit. go the cocolo, and then they go, yeah. and then they have like, um, they have like wives' tales where they go like, mira, papa, you gotta be careful, papa. Okay, when you fight a, when you fight in a black dude, nah, they, they fight dirty. Oh, they are room, young papa. They scratch you. You got it down, bro. You got it down. Too. Too sorry. <laughs> Too sorry. See, see. You got Con it down. <laughs> Con your papa. Um, so so that's a trip. So I might have been a how more uh Puerto Rican coach uh than than the Paris brother. Oh, for sure. I think so. Wow. Yeah. Here I was thinking that you was um 
putting sasson on your eggs. No, nah, I mean, your... I, I, I do do that, but no. Nah, oh, okay, I, so yeah, you, yeah. you still get the I food. I the Spanish style. Yeah, I eat the food all day. Oh, so I you... Saw, I just don't got the Spanish. That's okay, okay but you, your yeah. family at, at least kept, like, the pollo guisado and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, the my head girl, beans my and rice. Puerto Rican, too, so, yeah, we be eating all that. Uh, oh, you girl, yeah, you girl is Puerto Rican? Yeah. Well, then you got it made, my brother. My man, yes, sir. She's going to make you yes. uh, uh, a head bean and yellow, uh, and yellow <laughs> ice. <laughs> you know how she do that one? Then, oh, and then shit. you get, like, a plantain. You get both kind of plantain. You get... You get Maduro and you get Wait. you get Dulce, whatever. Oh, what do you call the other one? Maduros e what? Maduros, um what else? What what else we talking about? The the ones there's the sweet ones and then the other one. The platano. Yeah, Wait, yeah, goya yeah, yeah. everything. Goya. <laughs> goya. Yeah, Sazon. All they of got that, all, all that, that shit. Yeah, so yeah. you do you mix? Somebody just said brats and heist in Milwaukee. So you mix? Do you guys mix the fucking? Oh yeah, mofongo. Do you guys mix? Is, yeah. uh, oh yeah, totones, totones or maduros. Yeah, totones, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um. Uh oh. Another. She's back. I'm not in the. I'm not in the. She's always the one who handled the hikwas. So I'm not in the I'm not in the um in the habit of of, of how to Yeah, no, I've been here for a while, but you know. Oh god are you well you wanna you know, you, wanna, uh, you, know you, you know how it is, Sergio, when you know never mind. It happens. Yeah, that was it happens. interesting though. But you know, the Puerto Ricans in New York are 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 a lot of fun. Yeah, they're, they're very much a lot of fun. Those guys is up to a lot of fun. They 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 know all those fucking guys know how to fucking like every all those guys know how to salsa. No matter any, of, <laughs> no matter yes. what kind of dude. And then you see them on the dance floor and there's yep. a block party or whatever. Yep. Those guys killing it. Killing it. Yeah. I had an audio guy on a job uh, that I did, and he was Puerto Rican. And yeah, and I remember going out and like hanging out with him. And I remember he and his sister were like so good at it. And like, I would kind of try and, you know, like you can improvise it to a degree, but it's just really fun watching people who are really good at salsa dancing. Oh yeah. I yeah. can fake that one. I can kind of fake it. Yeah. And if I'm around people who's not like heel salsa dancers, not heel Puerto Ricans and shit like that, I can get, they can go, Ooh, God, are you? Where you learn <laughs> to move? And I go, oh, right. God, I can't worry about that one. But in front of Hill Puerto Rican, they're like, I know, like yeah. they're like, get the fuck out of here, Paul. Yeah, same, same. I gotta be drink. <laughs> I gotta be drinking a little bit to feel it sober. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm too, uh, in my I'm head. Fine. I mean, that's kind of dancing in general, unless you're by yourself at home. You you're gonna start getting more open. You know, it, it, let's face it, you're gonna get on the dance floor after you had like at least one fucking drink. You're not yeah. just gonna jump out there sober before you jump. <laughs> you, you get a drinks in you. You know, for sure, for sure. What's your main shit if you're drinking, for huh? Tequila. I like tequila. tequila. That's my yeah. shit too. Yeah, I like tequila. I thought maybe you you kept it Puerto Rican because all those same guys are talking about they like that they like that Han Bacardi. Yeah, yeah, I ain't about the Bacardi. That's, yeah, that's you don't like, like Bacardi? I, nah, no, I'm a tequila guy for sure. Yeah, no, tequila is the one because it don't fuck it's you that. Drunk, it's too quick. It don't fuck you up that bad the next yeah, day. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Te no, because uh, you're drinking, like, cause you're drinking like, Jose Cuau. No, no, no. No, Herradura <laughs> or not, uh, Pasta no. Fazul. I've had it. and I'm Why like, you called it? Pasta Fazul? Pasta Azul, isn't it? <laughs> like Listen, these guys, the guys, you, you got to stop getting those OGs to buy you a drink. They buying you that. They drive buying you that bottom shelf stuff. Look at all I'm saying is tequila makes me a little bit like a little mean. Like that's not uh, unusual. Yeah, uh, don't do it. <laughs> I don't. I no tequila nights for me usually don't end well. Well, you didn't spend a tequila night with your uncle Hanash, Paul. Huh? I know. I'll I take you. Not. I'll take you uh, uh, salsa dancing, Paul. Huh? You know, I'm one of those people too that like a lot of time people like. Yo, you Puerto Rican? No, no, no. You Dominican. You Dominican. No, yeah, they do. Dominican. They're going to do that. No, to... I'm, I'm, I'm half Jamaican. They're like, no, no, you Dominican. Yeah, they, but they, you know what? You got to take that as a compliment because they want you to be I'm not one mad. Of them. No, I'm not mad. I'm just yeah. saying. It's, it's funny. Yeah, and, and it's funny because the Puerto Rican in, in, in the neighborhood I used to live in, the Puerto Ricans and the Dominicans fucking hate each other, you know? Or yeah. they talk. Now, they don't really hate each other. 
they just talk shit about each other behind each other's back and stuff, you know? <laughs> but they still love each other. They still hang out and shit. But when they're not a house, right. like one of them be like, oh, you look Puerto Rican or whatever, or you look Dominican. And then I'll be like, oh, okay. And then later when that dude leaves, the guys go, nah, nigga, you don't look, you don't look Dominican. You look Puerto Rican, nigga. You know, like, and, and then so, you you know, it's like they, and then the same shit, they talking oh, the same shit. You know, it's, it's funny. It, you, you know, people always going to find the difference, you know, even though anybody who's Puerto Rican, Dominican can't tell the fucking difference between either one of that one, <laughs> but they're talking shit about each other. You know, everybody oh, got to have yeah. somebody to shit on, you know? I guess so. <laughs> Hey, it, it worked that way. That. I like that. Everybody no, it's true because you know what I noticed? Oh, the Puerto Ricans came to New York first, then came the, the Dominican, you know? So the Puerto Ricans tried to be like, yo, that's not us. Nah, nah, they're not acting high or whatever, you know, trying to be like, nah, they ghetto or whatever, you know? Then now the Haitians came and then the Dominicans are like, nah, nah, I'm not Haitian. You know, they, they like <laughs> try to share on the hate, you know? God forbid, I don't know who the Haitians is, is, is shitting on, you know? Maybe you, know, you go to the Puerto Rican Day Parade, you're like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, then you pretend you Dominican or Puerto Rican, whatever you gotta do. You know? It's, hilarious. it's like that movie. That's hilarious. <laughs> you ever seen that movie? Um what's it called? Uh Bingo Long and the Traveling All Star. It's like a black baseball team. And it has yes, like I actually your, have seen that. It's Hitcher Pryor and and and, yes. and and uh what you know, Billy D. William. And yeah. Hitcher Pryor's character is a black dude who 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 straightened his hair. And have a mustache, and he he speak with like he tried to get everybody to believe he's Cuban or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that movie. Yeah, I he's bullshit. Yeah, I like that <laughs> shit. You're um, you're okay without it, Sergio. You know, yeah. but, but but speaking of, of beating on people, uh, you guys are about to have a tournament, right? Oh, he didn't like that. Oh no. Oh, no, I lost you for a second. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, okay. no, I'm yeah. saying, speaking of, you, you know, you were talking about crapping on people and everybody needs something to crap on, and I'm saying, you guys are about to start a tournament, aren't you? Yep. Okay, I'm so what's down. the deal with that, and when does that start, and, like, does that, um, does that mean you're putting the title on the line or not? Yeah, so the tournament's pretty much uh, me just defending the belt um, as many times as I can go through, but um, I don't know any dates yet as of now, so kind of just... Uh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty bored at home, so I'm back in the gym already. My body's slowly feeling better. He kicked yeah. my leg up a lot, so other than that, I feel good back in the gym. And hopefully, we can start sometime like in April. Yeah, you wow. look like you haven't done. You, you look fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I only got he hit me with a nice jab. My my nose bleeding and a little scratch on my forehead, but other than that, yeah, I didn't get hit too too much. But he was uh he was just out MMAing me. <laughs> How was his attitude <laughs> afterwards? Did you talk to him? You know what? Uh, we didn't get a chance to talk. I wrote to him on Instagram to like, you know, just as like, you hope everything's all good. And yeah, yeah, you know, Did he respond? Didn't respond. So yeah, I don't know if he saw it or anything. It was but, like, yeah. fuck this dude. Yeah, he's probably like, man, <laughs> fuck this dude. <laughs> he probably nice, salty bro. for a little bit. Oh yeah, he was whooping my ass, man. He was he was about to win that belt and right, crazy. That's MMA though. MMA is a wild sport. Yeah, look, you got to play to the very last fucking second, you know. For sure. And that's what I mean about, I don't know if you got cut off last time, but you at, I, I could see in your fucking eyes that your mind was never stopped calculating. Mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah. just, you know, in that situation, sometimes you feel, I see a lot of guys in that situation. The only thing is, let me just not get knocked out. Let me just yeah. not get finished. You know, and you, they just, they're not thinking, they're like, I already lost this shit. Let me just not get finished, you know? And yeah. it's a different look. The look that you had in your eyes was like a focus, you know? It was like, you, you could see you thinking like, ah, no, nah, that's not not that one. I'm not right there. Because yeah. you, it, it's tough because to go in on a guy like that who can move so fast, you're going to catch a bad one if you make the, you know, the honk yeah. calculation. Yeah, man, I was watching this highlight video, so uh, I was watching knocking people out oh. <laughs> right before the fight. I'm like, damn, I, I don't want that to happen to me. So yeah. went in there very hesitant, but uh, man, my coach told me going to that fourth round, he was like, yo, we're, we're down this fight. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta do something, man. You gotta go out there. So I just went out there mentality of like, if I get finished, at least I'm gonna try to win. You know, like I, I, I was, I was okay with like getting hit now. I was like, all right, fuck yeah. it, I gotta go for this. And I think that's when the, the switch kind of happened. Like, I was able to turn it on, and, man, I got blessed with a, a beautiful move. Yeah, you did. Do you, you yeah. know, in, in terms of cornering, is that something, do you like 
brutal honesty, you know what I mean? Or do you, do you, you know what I mean? Do you want to hear like, bro, you're losing like real yeah, bad? Or do you, do you like to be sort of not necessarily placated or puffed up, but you know, some people do better with positive reinforcement and some people do better knowing what they're doing wrong. You know what I mean? So what, what kind of side do you fall in there? Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was just, me, me and my coach Duke have such a good relationship that, yeah. uh, he was honestly telling me to like chill out. I came in the third round. I'm like, man, he's, he's frustrated me. This movement's annoying. And he was like, all right, let's just keep it cool, keep it relaxed. And, um, you know, it's, it's time to let loose, man. If you let loose, you're going to be good. And so, yeah, it was, man, I was able to do that the fourth round. It kind of reminded me of a, a boxing fight recently that we were watching. And um, he was down one round. The, the coach was like, yo, uh, you got to win this round. Goes mm-hmm. out there and finishes the fight. So it was like, it's crazy. Yeah, my brother sent me that video on Instagram. I'm like, man, that was a beautiful moment, and I I gotta have one like two weeks later. So it was it was it was awesome. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The whole time I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, me too, man. I was, <laughs> man. Yeah, I was because pissed, sometimes man. you know styles true. You never know. You know. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, You know what he was reminding me of? Um, Mighty Mouse a little bit. Yeah. He, the way you know you remember when Mighty Mouse was like nobody could fuck with that guy. Yeah. It reminded me of that. I was like, oh, like, how are you supposed to hit this oh, fucking, yeah. like, sit still for a second. Let right, me hit so you. fast, and everything is just technically sound. Yeah, yeah it was it was crazy. The highest level of MMA that I fought. Yep. And I'm feeling, feeling that level, I was like, wow, I need to, I need to work on some shit. You know, I got to work on some things. And <laughs> well, what is the, what is the, I mean, w- w- obviously the strategy is to cut him off, but... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, what what do you do with somebody who will not the, sit the fuck still like that? You know, man. I think I I think honestly I should have pressured him more with like actual strikes, where instead of I was just pressuring him with just like position. You know, I was oh just yeah, very tight. And, he said just throw yeah. you jab. Yeah, yeah, throw like, my jab. It's not yeah. to hit him; it's to give him something to think about. Yep, mm-hmm. exactly, exactly. To break his rhythm. Yep, break the rhythm and just be able to read a rhythm because I, I couldn't. And, I wasn't reading nothing. But guess what? You didn't do it. You didn't do it once after he asked you to. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know. I was watching because I, I thought I thought that's the key. Like yeah. here we go. And yeah. then I was like, "Where's the fucking job for?" Yeah, man. I was. You know, sometimes when we're out there, I just got gun shy too. Like I was really gun shy. I was like, "Dang, like this guy's faster than me. My jabs aren't even touching him." I'm like, "Why would I even waste a jab?" But um, yeah, yeah. But so. but what he had a point though about the rhythm, you know. Yeah, for sure. You're just throwing it out there, you know? Yep. Definitely oh, some things I got to work on, man. Yeah, so that fight showed me, like, pretty much these next couple guys are going to fight me, have, like, a, a game plan out that, that they just saw from Horaguchi. You know, they can take me down. They could yeah, but, ride me out. So, but, yeah, he's a different level of strength. Not everybody can fucking do what Horaguchi yeah, did. Like, how many guys in the world can do that, you know? Yeah, man. He, he was a, a, a great experience. Because you know what I think is so dangerous about a guy like that is he have the speed of a guy – of as fast a guy you're gonna ever see, you know, a fast yeah. light guy, but he have the power of a guy who can't move like that. Yeah. So it's 100%. like you get the worst of both worlds, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah, like, what the like, fuck are you supposed to? At <laughs> least he's supposed to have one of those things is supposed to be taken away, you know. Yeah. So man, you're like, a... what do I do now? Exactly. Wait, when you see, <laughs> when you see her come back, it says uh, HIP Karen's Ethernet. Um, when you see she comes back, tell me because I, sometimes I don't see this. Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna come back, but if she does, if she does, but yeah. So, 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 okay. So in the he match, because they're gonna give you a he match. Oh, no? for sure, for sure. Yeah. So in the he match, it's like, well, I guess maybe you don't want to let the cat out of the bag. I guess maybe, or do you? I mean, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where that round's going. Like, what what's gonna happen for uh, the first rounds or the first couple fights are for an average rematch. But I mean, we'll see, man. I, I mean, I'm I'm ready for that rematch as well. Like, I, I I'm excited to address what I need to work on. Yeah, because even though you won, you know, like, okay, there was shit that you know that I need to yeah, clean up. But it, what a sure. great what a great way. You know how it's like you almost got the best possible best of both worlds because it's like you know how. Usually you gotta have a loss to learn the kind of shit you learned in that one. Yep. So you get to learn the same shit you learn in a loss, but but he chained the child and knocked the guy out. Yeah, man. It's crazy. almost like a crazy. win-win in a way. Yeah, crazy, man. Actually, my lady was telling me that too. She's like, you know, like you gotta face a lot of adversity and 
you learn while winning. So be proud of yourself. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, I should, <laughs> yeah, I should yeah. be proud of myself. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> so much. You ever notice people on here, on here just want oh, to be. Oh, she said she's back. She said okay. she's back. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, well, people keep saying, are you worried that you're going to ever have to fight Hoofy on? And I'm like, they're probably going to save that. You know, they're probably going to do everything yeah. they can not to do that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we'll see what happens. You know, Rafian's a beast, so I could honestly see it. Oh, that's how you in. say it? Hafian? Yeah, yeah, Rafian. Oh, how's yeah. it? So I, oh, look at it here. The gift that keep on giving for her. <laughs> I know, right? So it's sort of like a hey, girl, hey, every time. Like, Oh, yeah, it's intoxicating. It's enchanting. We love it. <laughs> Thanks. You're like an elf on a shelf. I'm just like, you never know. But yeah, you were talking about fighting your teammate, which would probably suck, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not, it's not something that I would honestly want to do, but I think we're at a point where, like, if the money's right and opportunity lines up um why not you know he's he wants to be one of the best and right now i'm currently holding the belt so i mean it is what it is man he's got a family to feed and he's a great guy so either way you know it's a win-win situation if i lose i lose to a great guy if i win i beat a great guy so yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah and if you win you get to take food from his family <laughs> <laughs> so you get to I, take I a think about food away that. from a great guy's kids <laughs> Great I mean, attitude. At, at the end of the day, that's how it is, I guess. Yeah. yeah great attitude. That's how it is. Sacagio. <laughs> so how, 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 how uh -huh. are you with, uh, with Anthony? I mean, both of you have been champs now. Like, yeah. how much do you guys uh, compete with each other, trying to level up and, like, outdo each other? You know what? I don't I don't feel like it's a competition between me and Anthony. Like, he's, like, work, working on his stuff and focus on his stuff, and I'm yeah. focused on me. And so. But, but he's, do he he's, hate he's on you a little bit? Nah, yeah. <laughs> Nah, you know, because I was wondering this, okay, what if, just imagine, imagine if, like, at a certain point, you just start to completely overtake that one. Uh -huh. Like, kind of like, you know how, like, at a certain point, out of nowhere, Charlie Murphy became more relevant than Eddie Murphy? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, like, you, you got to imagine, R.I.P. like, when, when Eddie Murphy is walking with Charlie Murphy and people is come up and go, Charlie Murphy! And then, like, <laughs> Eddie Murphy's like, you know, like, oh, God, are you? You know what I mean? Like, imagine yeah. there was a point there in, like, I don't know, like, somewhere in, like, maybe the mid 2000s, whatever, where, like, he seemed to be more relevant than fucking Eddie Mark. Yeah, I man. Really. And nah, so I mean... you, you don't think Anthony would be kind of salty about that? Like, if they ask Anthony, like, hey, hold this, can you, hey, hey, buddy, can you take a picture? Hey, hermano. <laughs> Did you take a picture of him? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I think he'd be straight with it, man. I've taken so many pics for Anthony. And uh, honestly, it's hard to compete with Anthony. He was on the Wheaties box, man. He was the first MMA fighter right. on the Wheaties box. First yeah, but now he's not on the Wheaties. <laughs> if the, if the Wheaties, that one's a stale by now, Carajo. Oh, stop. <laughs> we got to get you on the Count Chocula. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I need some. Yeah, I want some with flavor. The Wheaties are too plain for me. You know? Yeah, I'm, that's true. That's, yeah. That, that's nobody. No people. Crisp. That's, the weed is not for the weed is, is not for Puerto Ricans. That's for the whiteies for. <laughs> you need something. What do Puerto Ricans eat? It's uh, whiteies, it's not weedies, it's whiteies. Uh, in, in the oh, breakfast sweet. cereal. What's more uh, Puerto Rican cereal? Um uh, 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 uh fruity pebble? Well he just said cookie crisp. <laughs> Pretty pebble. Uh, cookie sorry. crisp not bad. Yeah, I, I like cookie crisp. That's my that's my my cereal yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, frost. I hate to say it, but even just basic frosted flakes are pretty friggin' good. Yeah, it's yeah, okay, but I you do, know, I, I, I only like that way if I put in a uh, strawberry or something like okay, that. Okay, right. Or how about Captain Crunch? Yeah, Captain Crunch is okay, but if I'm gonna go for a sugar cereal and fuck myself up like that, I'm going all the way. I'm gonna get one of those cereal that's like have the candy kind of cereal, bullshit cereal with a marshmallow that is like flavored Lucky like Charms. something else. And then have a peanut butter, chocolate cup, whatever the fuck in there. I'm going to go all the way. <laughs> you know? Oh, like yeah. a Heese's peanut butter. You ever had the Heese's peanut butter cup? Oh, one? yeah. That's, that's the one. Yeah, you I can't like that one as well. fuck with that one. <laughs> Imagine being on the cover of that one. Never mind, Weedy. Heese's peanut butter cup? Forget yeah, about it. Yeah, that's the one that's got the flavor. It's got, got the swag. I need that. Yeah. That sounds like garbage. I'm sorry. You out of you know what? Pooey. Okay. 
But do you remember there used to be this the the cereal called? And it, I swear to God, it was called Sugar Smacks. Yeah, yeah, of course, with dig them. Right, but didn't they change the name? Like, oh, because the kids. Yeah, I think they changed because people got health conscious, so they changed the fucking name. Right. Right. Yeah, but and it plus used to it's be like sugar and like smacks the name for heroin. It's like well, like, but kids don't know that one until they oh, get no, older. I just think you, it's just kind of funny until they get older. Those guys are like, yeah, you know, let me get some sugar smacks. <laughs> you know, let me get a sugar smacks, bye bye. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I can imagine you and your brother, you know, switching place or something like that. It can be like trading places. Um, <laughs> And then, and then we're gonna have your brother here on this one while you out there doing God knows whatever, you know. <laughs> and he's gonna be trying oh, to get in our good graces, and we're gonna be like, "Where was you back when you was on the weedy?" Back in the days, yeah. yeah. Exactly. When you was on the weedy, you was out there doing. You was all, you know, you wasn't checking for for the Tuesday night festivity. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. I'm about to go get some tacos for this Tuesday, so yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, sorry about all the. The crazy uh, connection stuff. But. Yeah, no, well, that's my bad. That's on me. Uh, no, worries, no worries. Well, that certainly was not my fault, my brother. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but not it's always good to see you, bro. It's always yeah, good to see just, you. And I'm gonna. I want to you to. I want you to. You homework, okay? Um, okay. I don't know if you're much of a heater. Do you hit novels ever? I do. Uh, nah, not really. Well, you're gonna start, okay? Now you know the movie Carlitos Way. Yeah, I do. I do. I don't know if you know this. But it's based on a books. Oh shit! Okay, and the yeah, book is that. ten times better than the movie, and you're gonna learn all about like gangster fucking street hustling, a Puerto Rican New York '70s shit. Okay, and then sure. this is the sequel, and it's called After Hours. I have to write those down. I appreciate. Yeah. It. I I I I sent to you something. Look at all Fanato's book club. Sounds good. Yeah, I yeah, that's a nice reason. book club. You're gonna love that shit. Um, oh, yeah. and and the way he talk, he's narrated, and he talk like an old school, uh, gangster. You know, like a street street Puerto Rican dude, New York Rican dude. You know, <laughs> and you're yeah. gonna find out. You're gonna. It's fascinating. That one. And it's violent and and yeah. crazy and and oh, there's all kind of shit going on. Hell you yeah. got I'm black dudes, Irish dudes, huh? So I'm excited to read. I'm about to check those out. Yeah, you're going to check that out, and you're going to start heating more and get off your phone a little bit, okay? Hell yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, because we got to focus on your life after the fucking uh, fighting and stuff like that. Exactly. When you're exactly. a cereal magnate, <laughs> okay? <laughs> We're going to make a Puerto Rican cereal, okay? Hell yeah. Uh, cool. Like based on, on uh, uh, Arthur Fonzaheli statue. <laughs> From Milwaukee, okay. So anyway, we're gonna have to. Here's what we're gonna do. To to made it up to you, uh, we're gonna have to have you do to K one when we have one day. We're gonna have Duke Hoofus because yes, he got a lot of stories. Okay, Duke Hoofus <laughs> is a legend, and I got a lot of shit to ask him. Um, but we maybe have you chime in a, a little bit here and there, uh, sure. and maybe you brought that or whatever you know, whatever other. Uh, of the fighters is lingering around and stuff. Okay, hundred percent. Thank you guys for having me on. Thank okay, you. my I'm brother. I'm so sorry, but thank you, oh, champ, no problem, and no uh, congratulations on that win. It was we so, absolutely hey, legendary. Hey, bye, bye, Papa. <laughs> okay, my man. Okay, nice to see you guys. Have a good one. Ciao. Bye. Hey, so guess what, Hanato? Oh, I like how you just tried to brush off, like as if we're not going to talk about what happened here. I just realized I could have been doing this from my de my laptop. Like I literally just now realized because they changed some things on Instagram that Listen I could me. have been doing this hardwired the whole time, and now I feel like a total. Uh, Mira, Mira, don't you ever disrespect me. Don't you ever disrespect me in front of the panties, brother. I I feel really bad, and I. Mira, Kaya thing. Because I, I had my brother on to talk to him and to celebrate him, the Milwaukee Puerto Rican. And you and you you fucking up. You got a black and white TV. And what I'm saying is is right here I have a whole Ethernet thing and I'm just now realizing because I always did this on my Mira, iPad I'm gonna there. sell you a color TV. You I know, wanna color TV? I got a color TV. 
while I may have epically failed, um, I've done so on such a large platform that it, it made me level up like instantaneously. And now I don't believe it'll ever happen again. Well, too late now. Mia culpa. Mia, Mia. But listen, you seem to really enjoy your alone time with Sergio, so it's okay. No, I wanted you to be there, you know? I needed the support, okay? But, you know, whatever. We're never going to have that one back, so either way, whatever. It's probably who in that one, but it's okay. Don't, it is what don't it make is. me feel worse than I already do. Listen, I mean, it's already probably... Probably hoing. Don't any, listen. Don't make me feel worse than I already do. Probably hoing any chance of anything in the future, but <laughs> don't worry. It's probably no big deal. Hey, no, we all I, gotta I die. I actually sometimes. don't think so. I think he's a good dude who will. It's, how was that my fault? Uh oh, did you just cut out again? <laughs> um. So. Guess so now, what? Yeah. So here's what. Okay. Like I said, the Ethernet, everything is fine. So we can go to YouTube God. and Twitter. So if people look at my stories and or my last post on my IG feed I and or my bio, you'll see the link to um, get to our YouTube for the after party, which I guarantee you will work. And, Not good. and um, you now, though, Hinato, have to be the one who needs a couple of moments to process this video on your feed okay. so that you can save it and we can download it later so that oh, I can put it on YouTube. So well. how do I do that shit? So as soon as you end this, yeah. it's going to say, it's going to give you the option to say share. Okay. And then you just, you just write a little quick little title and it'll post. Oh, okay. And so I'll start the, I'll start the YouTube thing in like a, just like a couple minutes. But if people go, like I said, to my story or my bio, you'll see the link or uh, the YouTube after party, to, or just search TNF, you know, the fi you know festivities after party, and we will see you there. And uh, we're going to talk about the best and worst Christmas gifts. We're going to talk about Charles Oliveira and Dustin Poirier, because that was absolutely incredible. Yeah, we're uh, going to get all about, that shit. What's that? Yeah, we're going to do all that stuff. Okay, so let me... Um... Yeah. So okay, we'll see here. you in five minutes. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, got it.